How many good. times have we talked oh. about the whole vegan bullshit? Many times. All right, now, it, it's perfectly healthy to go vegan for short periods of time. Yeah, like if you have a heart attack or something and you got to cleanse your system yeah. or whatever, sure. But you can't stay there. We are not designed to do that. No. The reason why the establishment is pushing a vegan diet is because it literally can kill you. Yes. And when you take a look at everything else that they're pushing on us willy-nilly without any regard for human health or safety whatsoever, can you be shocked? I certainly am not. Yeah. That's why they want you to eat the bugs. I Nothing mean, could possibly go wrong for eating things that are covered with a substance that we cannot digest. Uh -huh. Not to mention, they are literally scavengers eating infections and rotting dead things. Correct. And here's another thing. Did you know, because really I've been watching a couple documentaries on gladiators. Yeah. They pretty much had an, uh, a majority of their diet was vegan. Yeah. To the point, they actually had to come up with a concoction of bo like ground up bone, bone ash. Ooh. It made them drink that shit to keep their bones from fucking, you know, getting too brittle. Yeah, it sounds about That's right. That's messed up. It is messed up. Ugh. And with that being said, we're going to introduce you to uh, the corpse of Azana de Art. Dies of suspected starvation. Uh-huh. Why? Because she insisted that she could eat a vegan raw food diet, and it wasn't going to do anything wrong. How old was she when she died from this totally healthy, best diet in the world? 30 Nine. Yep. And I'm sure this had something to do with the fact there's a lot of critical B vitamins you are not going to get from a, a strictly vegetarian diet. Yes. And, and on top of that, if you eat nothing but fruit, which is full of fiber, uh -huh. you are going to naturally, over time, dehydrate yourself because you are going to be expelling more water than you're actually taking in through diarrhea. You're basically giving yourself the equivalent of dysentery yes. by eating nothing but raw fruit. It's not good for you. Wow. <laughs> you want to see what she looked like when she died? All right. Oh, my God. That's... So healthy. Oh, my God. So healthy, God. yeah. That's a... She looks like a concentration camp victim. Yep. I mean, how can you... Look at yourself in the mirror looking like that and think, oh, yeah, I'm going to outlive you all. You meat eaters, you evil white supreme pizzas. I'm totally better than you. Well, well, now you're better than me from six feet deep. Well, also, look, um, Darwin exists for a reason. And if you are here on Earth and you insist on doing unwise, stupid things, you know, taking chances, neglecting your body. Darwin is going to knock on your door, and he's going to be accompanied by death. Yep. And you're going to get whisked off to the next world. Yep. I mean, I don't... <laughs> what, I don't what? wish what happened to this woman no, no. on her by any stretch. Because in all likelihood, from what I have noticed at least... Most vegans are only vegans because they have friends who guilt them into becoming vegan. Yep. Or they believe the climate change horse shit. Because that's exactly what it is. Well, it's just like uh, the CrossFit cult. Yeah, yeah, there you go. All right, now listen. I'm not telling you that those guys aren't in rocket shape, because they are. But all of the CrossFit people I've ever known are like, hey, you should really do this. You feel great, man. Listen, I'm not getting up at 5 in the morning <laughs> and crushing my body for no goddamn reason. You did that for 33 yeah. years. In you the Army, that's in... one thing. <laughs> you know, In the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm going to take this to 110% because I need to be on point when the bullets start flying. Because yep. I'm not coming in second or third. It's not happening. Yep. But, mean, what did she eat, though? I mean, look at the, if she ate nothing but Malaysian raw fruit. Okay. And it says right here that her idle stagnation was causing her to melt before our eyes, but she believed everything was fine. Only her eyes and hair compensated for the dreadful sight of a body tortured by idiocy. Wow. Forgive me if that sounds harsh, it says. It's not. It's While not harsh. a raw foods diet can have health benefits like weight loss, improved heart health, and a lower risk of diabetes, there are many downsides to it when it's not well planned. 
deficiencies in calcium and vitamin D, which are essential for strong bones, mm -hmm. suboptimal B12 levels, which can result in anemia, nervous system damage, infertility, and somewhat paradoxically, heart disease. Yeah, it does. And this is how you die of starvation while gorging yourself on food at 39. Thanks, vegans! Wow. You know, and she'd probably be okay if she just ate, like, two or three eggs a day and, and took yeah. a multivitamin. Yeah, but those are chicken abortions. No, they're not. They're chicken periods. It's different. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> they weren't fertilized. Yeah, look, man. Unlike you, the rooster did not enter the hen house. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what can I say? It's, <laughs> it's what it is. <laughs> but, you know, there's the kind of people who do shit like this. Oh, no. Yes, that is a baby's car seat on the roof of a moving car. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to keep driving. Your baby is on the roof of your car. Oh. I bet you feel stupid now. I, I had the same thing happen in, in a parking lot in Royal Oak. Now wow. I was like 24. Yeah. Like, literally, they come driving by. I'm like, hey! hey! <laughs> <laughs> so you've seen this shit before. And they stop, and I'm like, your, your car seat is on the roof. And they're like, oh, my God. I'm like, going to hey. die. I'm like, it's fine. These things happen. It's got caught in time. Just to make sure it doesn't happen again. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.